Okay, so welcome back to this course. So in my previous videos, I have set up a search and pagination, and on this video, I want to start adding my filters to filter out my products. All right. So now in this video, first of all, I'm going to manage the price filter. I want to add a, a price filter here to filter out products based on this price. Now I'm going to use a package called RC Slider. It is very popular package. You can see it's downloads. So it is basically a slider. Uh, that that will help us to uh, get the value of the price now you can also use the text fields like you can get the minimum price and maximum price in the text fields but that is totally optional and i think so that is more easy than the slider one so that's why i cho choose this slider to show you uh, something different all right so we simply have to install this package first of all so i simply copy it from here and make sure i think so we don't have installed it let me check that so no all right so i simply um, go to the second terminal and see the front end and install this rc slider okay so now package is installed successfully so i simply go to my home.js uh, in my components from the JS and let's first of all bring in the slider so I simply import from the uh, react uh, sorry RC slider and also we have to bring in the CSS file so simply go back to my Chrome and copy in this import from here so RC slider slash assets slash index.css to import the default design of the slider okay i simply paste it here and then let's first of all also define the range so this is just a slider we also have to define the range so for that what i do is i simply type here const and i bring in the create slider create slider with tool tips okay with tool tip only so create slider with tool tip quite a long name and i have to bring in it from the slider that we have just imported and then i have to create the range also because i have to define the range that this is the minimum price and this is the maximum price so what I simply type here const range that will be equal to create slider with tool tips and pass in here the slider dot range. Now you can also simply use the range uh, from the from the slide uh, from this here. You can also import that as shown here, like this one. But I want to have a tool tip with it. Tool tip is just like the some additional information of the slider. And I will show you when we will show our slider that what, what is the tool tip. All right, just create that right now. And after that, also I simply define here const price, and I simply type here. Oops, we have to also define here set price. So price, and then set price, and by default in the use state, oops, use state, it contains the array. So I have passed the minimum value that is $1 and the maximum, I simply type here 1000 You can also change these values if you want. So minimum price is one and the maximum price is $1,000, all right? So after setting the price, we also have to pass in here the price. So keyword, current page, and then let's put in here the price. Okay, and also we have to put in here the price in the dependencies array, okay? And then let's also simply save and go to the uh, actions product actions and here I simply pass here let me let me create here a separate link okay and I simply cut it from here that is this one and I simply pass in here the link so slash API slash v1 products keyboard is equal to this page is this and let's also define our price and price less than equal to we remember we also have to pass in here 
price less than equal to and greater than equal to. So for less than equal to, I simply put in here equals to, and then we also have to first of all bring in the price. So I simply type here price. So for the less than, I simply put type here price of one. Remember, this is an array. So uh, so this price of one will be one thousand. So so the price must be less than or equal to one thousand. And also we have to define here and price should be greater than or equal to the price of zero so in this case price of zero is one dollar okay so i hope that it is it is fine so let's save it close it and now let's uh, display our slider so i simply okay simply go here and now I only want to display the filters here. Let's close this one. I only want to display the filters when someone search here something like Apple. When I click on Apple, when this is the URL slash search slash the keyword, then I have to display the filters. Like on the search page, I have to display the filters. So what I do is I simply go back to my VS Code and let me section container model number five. After this or after this row I put in here that keyword if keyword exist okay then we have to display the uh, slider all right else we have to display the product as it is so what I do is I simply first of all move this back so we don't need it right now in here okay and we have to put in here the fragment okay so simply so save it so if if keyword exists then we have to display the filters else we have to simply render the our products as it is right and in the fragment what i do is i simply define here div with class of column dash six okay so i want to give column six by default and on the medium screen so column medium i want to display three columns and then margin top of five and then also i have to display here margin bottom dash five okay and then in here div dot and let's put in here padding x of five okay and in that i simply define my range okay and in the range first of all I have to type the class name and in the range first of all I type here marks okay and marks is an object of oh, this is equal to so in the marks I first of all have to define the minimum mark and the maximum mark so minimum mark is one and but I have display here the dollar one okay and then after that the maximum price is one thousand dollars we don't have oops one thousand dollars and we have to display here the dollar to one thousand okay so these are the marks that will display on the top of the slider now for the marks i have to set the minimum and the maximum so main value is going to be one and for uh, for the max it is going to be definitely one thousand dollars okay so marks min and max and then the default value so default value is going to be uh, one to one thousand okay so by default i want to get all the products if i want to type here apple this one uh, i want to display all the products that has price between one and one thousand dollars this is a default value right and then after that I simply have to type here the tip formator tip for meter okay and the tip formator I simply have to pass in the value and before the value I simply have to add the dollar so dollar and then the dollar value okay I will I will tell you the power tip formatter when I will display this slider and also I have to type in here the tip 
props okay so in the tip props i simply type here the placement that where i want to place the uh, tip formator so i want to put it on the top okay and then also the visible so visible is definitely true because you have to display it after the tip props we have to simply define here the value so value is definitely the price okay and then at the end we also have to find here the on change so on change we simply have to set the price uh, set price and I pass in here the price okay all right so now if I simply save it go back to here and you will see here our slider you can see that $21, $100 is the slider between uh, $21 and $1,000. So if I go back here, <clears throat> remember we have put here tip formatter. Now I want to put dollar here. If I move it here, like I put here percentage, for example, simply save it. Now if I go back, uh, you will see here percentage, right? So this is that tip formatter. So you can put here back dollar. All right. So this is the marks that I want to display. That is this dollar one and dollar one thousand these are the marks these ones okay so we save it and now we also have to basically display the products also uh little bit of the uh, this based on the slider right so what i do is after this div i'm going to put my div dot column of six okay and also i want to give it column at medium screen of nine uh, you have to display my products here so i simply type here div dot uh, row right and the row i will simply i sim simply have to look through my products right so i simply copy this from here Control c and put in here the brackets put in here simply save it and remember um let me first of all go back uh, you will see here and now this you can see that this letter is already working you can see that it is not looking uh, and it the UI is damaged because we are giving column 3 to the each each card so we have to set the columns also so what I do is I pass in here in the column the prop so call will be equal to in this case we have to give the four columns to each product card and uh, sorry in here I have to give only three but if we are on the search page then I have to give here the column uh, which is four okay I simply save it go back to the product where is product js and let's bring in our call from there okay and after bringing the column what I do is here I simply type the first of all bad ticks so that is column small of 12 column medium 6 and then in here what i do is i simply type the column value all right so if we are on such space it is it is going to be four so we only display three cards on one row and if we are on the home page the column is three so three Three times four is twelve, and you're going to see the four products on the page. So we save it. I hope that you understand this much. So if we go back, now you can see that it is it is look it looks fine. For example, I want to get products between I simply type here uh, two hundred twelve and one thousand. So you can see that I even get here MacBook. And if I go back to it, here, you will see that I get back here AirPods. And if I go to one dollar, you will see that I get here the apple also. And if I move this one, you will see here now MacBook is not in this slider. So this means our 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 slider is working properly. And if I go to the home page, and let me also add the link to this logo. If I go to my here, and let me go to the layout header, and let's wrap it inside the link to 
slash let me put that here so you save it we also have to bring in the link okay so now if I simply go back and if I click on this logo okay so link is not defined so that is link Now you can see that on our home page is also fine. If I type here like Apple and our slider is here and if I click go to the home page, now the slider is not here and also we are displaying our products. So this means that our our first filter, price filter is working properly. In my next video I want to filter out the products based on the categories. Okay, so I will see you in the next video.